So, Keitaro versus Chaos. Oh no! I was half and half right! Damn it! Damn it, I was half and half right. Alright, that's fine. I'll take it. I definitely think this is still still a lot more in Katara's favor, considering Lucina, overall her damage is good, but it's overall the same. So, she doesn't really have super kill potential early. All the kill potential comes later on. But it all racks up pretty fair. So, Katara's gonna have to watch his approaches because if he approaches. Ro yeah. Side. And at the same time, Katara has to also remember there's still, still that counter in effect. So, if he tries to go for something meaty and. Uh, and uh, Chaos sees it, he's gonna definitely count it. I hear that. I gotta be honest with you, I could totally use a coffee right now. <laughs> I felt like I was a little bit more energetic, like... Because Bowser was on the screen. Yeah, it's because Bowser was on the screen. It's okay. I've been up since, like, 6, so... But his... But Keitaro's Falco is pretty beast. Yeah, I mean, he's honestly... Surprises. He's put in a lot of the work. Yeah, he does. Very nice. And there's the counter. Oh, I actually thought he was going to stop and actually go for a dash grab or dash jab. Uh, he's done it before, and he's even gone for a uh, rapid jab and to stop and then jab again to rapid jab. So those are things that Katara likes to do. And it seems like Chaos can't get anything started. I never really see him using Lucina. He said he did a little well in the other battle. Yeah, uh, I think, like I said, I feel I it was more the matchup. Like, yeah. And didn't really hit at the sweet spot, I believe. So it didn't kill. And wow, they are chanting Falco's name. Not anymore. I think. Katara was kind of trying to bait out the counter at the same time because he could die from it. And that was closer to the edge of the stage. Yeah, that was like really close. Oh, the read! Oh, man. The serious reads. Oh, like man. Bed. That is hard to deal with. I think his best option. He said go to bed. Would have been to jump no up in the air. No supper. Wow. I think he should have jumped up in the air and then just waited until he could get close enough to the ground. And make Kataro choose whether he's gonna have to deal with dot air, uh, air dodge or counter. That was probably gonna be his better option. One, go. But uh, sticking with Lucina. Yeah, he kind of went all the way and it pushed him off, and that's kind of a little hurtful because he's kind of gonna rack up damage if he doesn't. If he doesn't pay attention to his spacing and knowing that stuff like that's going to happen. Because that gives Katara a free chance to get back on stage. Chaos is actually still making a good comeback and keeping him at bay with a lot of side beats. Alright, good smart idea to just shield it all. Don't even, don't even bother with, oh my god, really low. Katara just covering all the options from the air so that he forces Chaos to actually just roll back on the stage or stand back on the stage. Because if he jumps back on the stage, Katara is already looking to punish him for it. Very smart by Katara, actually. And I like that Chaos tried to go for the counter off stage. A little, little early, but he was still going for it, which is a good option. Now Katara has to be careful to think about that later on. Up smash he gets. Yeah. 
Wow, the charge is looking to stack up to any percentage just to get the kill. Oh, going for it. He always goes for it. <laughs> Go deep. And now, okay, so interesting that Chaos actually went for a different move out of uh, what Kazaro was doing with the up, the up airs. I think that he should have probably just went for the counter on a second hit. So. Oh my god, that could have been the biggest punish if, if Kataro would have noticed that he missed the counter earlier and wasn't already committing to something, he could have probably gotten up smash, down grab, grab into just anything. Good night. But it doesn't matter. Confirming all his kill confirms. Right now, Kataro's looking super, super solid with Falco. I think that he's gonna have to do a switch. This isn't working out for him. Bowser might be coming back into play. Never mind. He's taking him to the battlefield. And the only thing I can think that battlefield is going to really do is stop the up airs because of the platforms. But I don't, I don't know how much that's really going to affect Katara at this point. Katara has a nice little lead. He has to just be smart about it and comfortable. Oh. Very nice down tilt into fair. Wow, getting the spike and directional. The way he directed himself sucks because he just was too low to get anything. And all this damage that Katara is getting here is all extra credit. And it's going to be really tough for, for Chaos to come back because Lucina doesn't have the best kill potential early. And she does have percentage on him, but she has to get a really good solid side beat. Oh, there it is. Okay. Nice prediction. Like, he can't go for up these, uh, like, uh, up smashes as much. He has to kind of go for a side smash because it's just, it's cleaner. It covers kind of the air and to the ground. So, it's the most efficient, in my opinion, from what I've seen. But up smashes are kind of for more of a read for Lucina. But he's putting on a lot of percentage, so it could be. It could be he's gonna try to go for it this time around instead of a side smash. Oh wow, gets the side side smash. And I don't know, I mean it's surprising it could have killed, but whoa. That late last hit. Guitar trying to go for down here off stage, and it's just a little hard. So close. Wow. Down tilt, looking for up tilt, up air. It just, it's like Katara is looking for the clean finish, and this is this could be it. Very nice by both players. Trying to read each other in advance. I'm really liking Chaos's options right now. He's not going for too much. Oh! Oh, yeah. up B! Very nice. He's like, not Very this nice. time. Yeah, he was, he was hoping he was probably going to release shield. A lot of people tend to release shield a little too early to actually try to punish. And that's kind of what Pizarro was probably looking for. And Chaos wasn't falling for it. So. Yeah. So the question is, where does Kataro take this? Because I think that he doesn't need to switch. I think he's playing really solid with Falco. I think he, ooh, Dr. Mary. May go back to Smashville. Interesting. He does have a quite a Dr. Mario, so this could go really fast, or it's going to be a really slow game. Yeah, I might play some friendlies a little after this. Oh. So it has a similar flow like his Falco, because a, a lot of the movesets are the same. But, uh, the yeah, you can totally see different. it. But his, uh, his short hops are a lot better, so it's it's going to be a lot more for Lucina to deal with. Yeah, I know, sadly, right? When I first played him, I couldn't touch his Dr. Mario. Oh, man, it's 
it's just so much, it's so read dependent. After and playing him for a little bit more, he, I understood everything he does now. Yeah. It's <laughs> Same like, with oh this God. Falco, <laughs> and it is very sim similar. <laughs> yeah, it's similar, and honestly, it's simplistic. It's very simplistic that it's like, it kind of is scary that you just can't be like, oh, I should press this and it should work. So, wow, nice reads yeah, by yeah. Chaos. See, that was that up smash set up. Very nice by Chaos, trying to get it while sliding to, towards, thinking he was just going to stand. Dr. Mario getting slashed. Now, I think Taro's going to have to change up. his approach a little bit. And oh, got tossed. Kill. Nope, she's living. Uh, oh, he grabbed the wrong way. I thought that was kill, though. Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna definitely have to watch some of that Christina stuff. Cena took man. first stock. Oh, uh, I, I think because I was just gonna look for it now. No, she's good. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Throw her seamless dead body off the stage. Now, I definitely think Katara's going to have to change up his approaches, and I don't see that he needs to change Dr. Mario if he was to lose, but this could work really well. Oh, nice. And it seems like every time Chaos gets what he wants, he misses the follow-up, and he actually gets punished really hard for it. Oh! I think that comes from being a Bowser player because I think I feel like I make the same mistake a lot. I definitely think. Oh my God! That could have been. That could have been the read. That could have ended all the whole game. Mm -hmm. That's really, really covering all his tracks right now. I don't know. Lucina is at a pretty high percentage too. Not this as much as Mario though. Oh man, it's going down to the wire. This could be the end for Ooh. He rolled back on stage. I was surprised. I thought he was actually going to stand. And that's exactly what Chaos was looking for, too. So he can do an up smash. Oh, but wow, he just, just made it to the ground, too. Uh, Holy yikes. crap. Up tilt ends the game. And even Katara was like, ah, I don't know, man. I don't think I need to switch, but... <laughs> I need to find something to beat this uh, this Lucina. Who he is running it back. He has to he has to actually win this one to reset the bracket, and then he can start the real match, which is going to be the tough uphill battle of all battles. Which is once you've been noticed and you fi they figure out exactly what your plan is as one character, and they find a counter to it, that's when you have trouble. And I think that right now this could be the point where if Kotaro is to lose. Something stronger is going to come out, probably Diddy Kong. You're going to see a lot of trouble for for at least um, Chaos. And that's probably going to be what's going to happen if uh, if he cleanly takes this. We'll just have to see. <laughs> we'll stop, man. <laughs> I, I think if Bayonetta is good enough, I'll just main her. I hope. And right now, Kizaru has a very uphill battle. And it seems like he's just getting red left and right. And I think this is the thing that I'm talking about. He's getting red, but I think the Diddy Kong, if it comes out the next set, is going to be really, really changing. Not only is he getting a little red, but it's a little hard to predict Chaos a bit because he doesn't normally play as Lucina. Yep. And I think his Lucina is getting better as the matches go on. Yeah, I know. It's weird because you're yep. seeing him learn and you're seeing him kick major ass. Like, he's making less, fewer mistakes, and he's making even cleaner reads. He's being more patient, and he has to be careful on his on his uh, charge keys. I think the best thing he can do is, if he's in air, release it closest to the ground so you get as much recovery as you can back. Because she has really good recovery when she does uh, air, air, air B, just neutral B, going to the ground. Sorry, my commentary is so limited. <laughs> it's okay. It comes with experience. I've been doing it for like four years. <laughs> yeah, I literally just started going to tournaments. Oh, come on. The punish has to be really solid. And okay, I like it. It's it's force reads. 
usually play Smash with just my friends. But right. Then I started coming to eat on a break. Even when you're playing with your friends, you should just commentate their matches. I do, but I say I say really weird things. Doesn't matter. <laughs> That's it. Could make you the the difference between everybody else here. You can even ask Jack.